interesting. So I can get this for 123 bucks. Huh? I'm on again? Don't you lie to me. Oh, I'm on! Hi! And I love you guys, and welcome to an all-new edition of All Andy Alford right here on Claypan 2. Three, I am your host, Andrew Alford. Uh, well, the Tigers won again. Cleveland opens up a three-game set with the Tampa Bay Rays. Go hands. And welcome home, Mike. And welcome into the program. I am your host, Andrew Alford. I'm hoping you're keeping yourself hydrated out here. I am. It is really warm outside. It's hot in the studio. Remember to drink a lot of fluid today and tomorrow. Heat indices are going to hit into 105. Uh, I'm going to pop the collar off because it's so hot, you know. And uh, let's let's get into it. This is part one. Remember, we always do two parts on Friday. This is part one of all Andy. Oh, sorry, i got to fix this. Okay. The uh, Tigers were a winner yesterday, 5-2 over the Toronto Blue Jays. Now they'll play tonight. Up in the trade at 7.05 will be Rick Porcello. He's 4-7 with a 5.63 ERA, taking on Marsham, who's 8-4 with a 3.34 ERA. Saturday will be Cecil, Brent Cecil, 8-5 with a 3.99 ERA, taking on Jeremy Bonderman, the ace of the staff, apparently. 5-6 with a 4.98 ERA. And on Sunday at 1 o'clock, it will be Armando Galarraga, 3-3 three three with a 4.50 ERA, taking on... Lynchett, who's on and four with a 5.79 ERA. All games on FSN Detroit. HD, 7.05 start for Friday and Saturday and Sunday at 1.05 in the afternoon. Well, the T Cleveland Indians will now open up a three-game set with the Tampa Bay Rays starting tonight. It's Christmas in July, of course, for both the Tigers and for the Cleveland Indians this weekend. They'll open up against the Tampa Bay Rays. It'll be uh, Neiman on the hill for Tampa Bay. He's 8-2 with a 2-9-2 ERA. Take on Busto Carmona, who's 9-7 3.65 ERA. Game time 7.05. Saturday will be uh, Price, 12-5 with a 2-8-4 ERA. Take on Mitch Talbot, who's 8-8 eight eight with a 3-8-9 ERA. And the concluding game on Sunday will be Davis versus, versus Laffey. Davis 7-9 with a 4 point. 4-1 ERA, taking on Aaron Laffey, who's 2-3 and three with a 4.62 ERA. All games are on S-T. Other scores yesterday in the major leagues. Minnesota 5, Baltimore nothing. Milwaukee 3, Pittsburgh 2. The Reds were a loser yesterday, 7-1 to Washington. 4-3, Colorado 2, Atlanta 8, Atlanta 8. San Diego 0. Philadelphia 2, St. Louis nothing, Boston 8, Seattle 6, and that was a no-hitter going into the 7th inning for the Boston Red Sox. Boston was about ready to have a no-hitter, but it was broken up in the 8th inning. The Angels were a winner, loser over Texas 3-2, Cliff Lee gets his first win of the season. The Yankees 10, Kansas City 4, and the Dodgers 2, and the Mets nothing. Let's look at the AL Central. Boy, has it changed since we last spoke about this on Monday. Chicago is 52-42, and 6-4 and in the last 10. Their home record, we're doing home and road now. Their home record is 27-19, and and the road record for Chicago is 25-23. and Chicago is now, this weekend, taking on the Oakland Athletics before returning home to play Seattle and Oakland. Detroit is in second place, mathematically is in second place. They're 50 and 44, two games out, three and seven in the last ten at home. They're 34 and 15, 16 and 29 on the road. You gotta win ball games on the road. It's plain and simple. Minnesota is 41, 51 and 45, two games out, five and five in the last ten. They're 30 and 20 at home, 21 and 25 on the road. Kansas City is 41 and 54, 11 and a half back, two and eight in their last ten, 20 and 25 at home. And on the road, they're 21 and 29. And in last place, the Cleveland Indians. They're 40 and 55. Five, uh, a record 15 below the 500 mark. 12 and a half back. 7 and 3 in their last. And they're 21 and 22 at home. 19 and 33 on the road. You got, like I said, you got to win games on the road. That's key. 
no matter where you play. That's the key. You have to win games on the road. The key games this weekend, of course, Detroit and Toronto and Tampa Bay and Cleveland. The White Sox are in Oakland. Seattle is taking on Houston. And going on this afternoon, it's uh, St. Louis and Chicago in that affair. Uh, notes for you in the MLB, because we were getting so close to the free agent deadline. Milwaukee is after the Prince in Milwaukee. Texas is forced to let Josh Hamilton walk. It's going to be interesting to see who goes and who doesn't. The Tigers need bullpen help, and they need a third baseman. Who's going to offer it to them? That's my question to you. Who is going to offer it to the Tigers? It's a simple question. All right, this is part one of All Andy Offered. In part two, we're going to talk about the Muttons, the NHL, the IL West, some ECHL news with the Walleye, and my recommendations for this weekend. But if you're just watching us for part one, these guys, part two, we're going to talk, break down this. And also, uh, part one is brought to you in part by the Columbus Blue Jackets, of course. Six game mini pads are on sale right now, starting at $123. It was presented by Time Warner Cable Sports. You get the premiere package, you have the Friday package, you have the weekend package, and you also have the weekday package, all starting at $123. It's some great games. That premiere package features opening night against Chicago, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Detroit, Boston, Buffalo, and Atlanta. And the weekday package features Montreal, Dallas, Vancouver, Chicago, Nashville, and Detroit. Three Central Division teams. You can't beat that deal. For $123, plus you get the best game, best games on the best dates. Priority for, to purchase to purchase playoff tickets and receive a $20 coupon for NHL Center Rights on Time Warner Cable. Remember, this is part one. Part two is coming up next with the with these guys, the Walleye, and the Muttheads. I will see you for part two in just a second.